The HTC Butterfly S flew into our office and it instantly reminded us of two devices. The first one is the HTC Butterfly, its predecessor that it shares common looks with, and the other one is the HTC One, HTC's other flagship. Now the Butterfly S comes with one unique feature in the form of a 3200 mAh battery that would last you for a really long time. But it also has some features that are common with the HTC One. Uh, front stereo speakers and an ultra pixel camera and of course the latest Sense user interface. But this Butterfly S comes with plastic wings. And that's right, it's a plastic body. Can it still fly? This is Victor with Phone Arena and let's find out. The Butterfly S is a chubby piece of glossy plastic, but it is glazed and polished and feels very soft and actually good to touch. It's not a phablet, but it is definitely a large and fairly thick phone. The handset weighs 160 grams and that's above average, but not excruciatingly heavy. Truth be told, it feels larger than would like, a bit unwieldy. There are some elements that HTC borrowed from the one in this phone. The stereo front speakers are here and they're painted red, just like the capacitive buttons and the same color is used on the camera on the back. On the right, there is a patterned aluminum volume rocker that sticks out just enough and is very comfortable to press. The lock key, however, is a stretch to reach. It's located way up top next to a 3.5mm headset jack and a lid-protected microSD and microSIM card slots. The HTC Butterfly S comes with a large 5-inch LCD display with a 1080p resolution. We're very impressed with it. The screen is extremely sharp and detailed. We love the rich and saturated colors. They're not hugely overblown as on AMOLED screens, but still deliver quite the punch and viewing angles are fabulous. The phone runs on Android 4.2.2 Jelly Bean with HTC Sense 5.0 with blink feed on top. HTC Sense skin is nothing new. It's been on devices for nearly half a year now. It features graphite color accents and a streamlined modern look. It's a good effort for the most part, but still feels inconvenient in some places. We'd love a brightness slider in the notification shade, for instance. HTC includes its Blink Feed apps for new news updates right in the home screen. There are also HTC made applications like the calendar, mail, and the music player. The phone book is fairly quick to access and you can swipe between tabs which is convenient. HTC stock keyboard features large buttons for each letter and typing on it is easy. Good news for heavy texters. The Butterfly S runs on a 1.9GHz quad-core Snapdragon 600 chip, quicker even than the HTC One and we have 2 gigs of RAM on board. The Adreno 320 graphics allow you to play all latest games at maximum detail and smooth frame rates. There's also 16 gigs of internal storage on board, but you can expand that via microSD cards of up to 64 gigs. The HTC Butterfly S comes with a homegrown browser and Google's mobile Chrome out of the box. And both browsers are exceptionally good, snappy and lag free when scrolling around and zooming in and out. The phone also supports 4G LTE connectivity and NFC. The HTC One was the first to launch with an ultra pixel camera and now the Butterfly S has it too. This time however we have no optical image stabilization on board. The camera app though starts quickly and has large separate buttons for image stills and video. That's pretty convenient. There are virtually no shooting modes to help newbies. Instead you get live filters that add various Instagram like effects to either your images or footage. The camera supports HDR and burst shots and the interface is actually packed with all sorts of adjustable features like white balance and ISO. However, all of that is spread in long tedious vertical lists of menus and submenus and is a struggle to find. Images taken on the Butterfly S turn out ok for casual use but not great. The big problem is with the low level of detail and noise visible even in broad daylight shots. Everything however looks much better on video. The camera records footage at 1080p at 30 frames per second and the recorded footage is smooth and rarely skips a frame. There is also a 2 megapixel front camera that will come to good use for video conferencing but nothing much more than that. The large 5 inch display is great for enjoying video and images on the go and the loud and clear front stereo speakers deliver excellent rich audio. 
The HTC Music Player is a well-done app that breaks down your music library in a neat two-column view with a rectangle for albums, artists, songs, and so on. The call quality on the Butterfly S is not perfect by any means, but it's definitely above average, with no big issues. Voices sound loud and clear with almost no distortion in the earpiece, and our colors also report in hearing our voice in its natural tones. The whopping 3200 mAh battery is this phone's biggest advantage. Talk time reaches an impressive 25 hours on 3G, and the phone easily lasts us 2 days on average use. Plus we never have to worry whether we can make it through the day with our phone not dead, and that's a plus for every smartphone out there. The battery itself is sealed and it's not user replaceable, but at its size we're willing to forgive this. The HTC Butterfly S took some of the amazing features of the HTC One and mixed them up with a long-lasting 3200 mAh battery. We love its display, we love its front speakers and we love its performance. However, it's not a perfect device by any means. And the first thing that comes to mind is its large size. It even feels a bit unwieldy. And the HTC Butterfly S is definitely not everyone's cup of tea. But if you appreciate the long-lasting battery life, then this might be your perfect device. And for a more detailed review, check out phonearena.com. Thanks for watching.